Respect is dynamic, it's relative, subjective, and contradictory. I'm Dr. Julie Pham, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by reading a scenario from my book, The Seven Forms of Respect, a guide to transforming your communication and relationships at work. I'll be reading uh, from the chapter on the form of respect called punctuality, which is about honoring time constraints. Here is scenario number one. You plan to take the bus to a one hour meeting with some coworkers and some partners. However, the bus is running late. If you wait for it, you will be 15 minutes late for the meeting. You are not leading the meeting. So ask yourself, do you pay out of pocket for a cab so you can get there on time? Or do you alert the meeting or attendees that you will be late and to start without you? Or do you ask to call in for the first 15 minutes? What else might you do? What would you do if this meeting was with those who had more power than, with, than you? What if they were all your peers? What if they were all people who were junior to you? Imagine if you were one of the people waiting, what would you want yourself to do? This scenario is designed to help you consider the influences that shape how you give punctuality. You may assert that this is a must give form of respect and then discover there are limits to what you're willing to do to be on time. Your decision may depend on who's waiting for you and what costs and inconveniences you may personally incur.